you are welcome to my channel in this video we are told to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in orthographic projection now for better understanding i would like to reproduce that particular figure at the top right hand side of the screen so that we have a better view of it on the working sheet right so this is what we have here we have successfully reproduced that figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen right now i'm already drawing this you are not asked to reproduce this figure what you're asked to is to draw the divisions of this figure now the first thing you do when you hear the word orthographic projection is to draw your axis right so this is what you ought to do you draw the x-axis let me bring it down a little bit so you draw the x-axis this way and you draw the y-axis this way You can see that um, you measure a distance of maybe 10 10 millimeter each let's see 5 or 10 if you prefer using 5 you can use 10 whatever choice is yours you do so from here this is 5 5 5 and 5 right so you now draw parallel lines to those lines to that point. So from here I'll draw the parallel line. Here also I'll do the same thing. Here also I'm going to do the same thing. Line down. So this is what we have here this is where we are going to place the line that we want so this is the first thing you do now look at where the arrow is pointing wherever the arrow is pointing that is the main the arrow x is pointing in this direction right so we are going to that will be our front elevation just like in the previous video so let me bring out what you see you're going to see everything here so let me bring it out. So that what are that shape? Let's see if this is A. Here also is what A. Now if you look at this point here, this is B. Is that the key? So how would I get B? Well, I would Why am I putting here the line? Because if you're looking at it from here, you cannot see what is at the middle here. Right? But because I'm drawing it, I'm making you understand that there's something hidden here. That's why I'm using my hidden line this way. You can see that? So that's why I'm using the hidden line. So I'll call that point my point B. You can see that? So that is the elevation which I'm going to repl replicate here. So I'm going to draw this at this point here using just your ruler and your pencil. So what do you notice from here to here from the question is given to be what 60 the distance from here to here is in the same from here to here and that is 60 so i'm going to measure 60 from that point right so that's what i'll be having so measure 60 So this is the 60 that we have and the height given from here to here is going to be 20 as shown in the diagram so i'm going to measure 20 
right? Then let me just take here up a little bit for the See that now the next thing is to draw this so we know that from here to is 10 so i measure that 10 the height it is here and from here to here in the question is given to be 20 so i measure that 20 so this is my rule paint paint first then just take this Shut. So this is what we have here. Whatever I have produced here, whatever I have there, is that taken? So the next thing we'll be doing here, I told you in first angle projection, the plan is always under the elevation. So how would the plan look like? So let's see how the plan will look like. You can see that? So we're going to see, let's call it to be C, and this is what C. This side here is D, this is what D. This side here is E, here should be what E. Let me see how this side here is F, and here should be what F. You can see that? Hmm. So the next thing we'll be doing here, I'll now reproduce this, I'll place it here. Right? So let me bring that, let me project those points down. So I project this down. So if you look at it, from here to here, we think from here to here is the same as here. So it is just a straight line, right? So since it's facing this way, everything will be facing this direction. So I'll just take it from here, straight down to here. And the thickness from here to here is given to be what? 40. So I'll measure the width here to be 40. And I'll close it up. Also, I'll close it up. Just reproducing this and placing it here. And the next thing is from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here, from here to here, is given to be 10. So I'll measure 10 all this way. This is 10, and it's also 10. So let's bring this this way and here too this way and I'll close it up everything there is closed and here too is closed so that's what we have there you see that I have produced this that I have here now the next thing is the end view when you're looking at the end view, what will you see? So let's see what we are going to see. That is what we are going to be having there. Is that the key? So if you're looking at it, this side here, let me call it G. Here also be G, let's say here is H, here to be what H, let's say here is I, here to be what is I. You don't have to do all this taking to make you understand. Right? So for me to be able to reproduce that, I'll come on this diagram here now. And then I'm going to take my 
square and my t square 45 degrees square square place it on my t square and I'll just draw a line from the center here and climb this way then the next thing I'll do is project this to the top it will be the highest point here no line should pass that line then all these edges here I'll move them to touch each and every of this part here then I'll project them up in this manner So if I've done that, I'll just reproduce what I have here. Just replicate this here. The same distance as in the question. So but the good news is from here to here is giving us from here to here, right? On the same level as this. So I'll just draw this. I'll draw this. The same line is coming down here. And I'll close it up. Can see that so we have um, successfully reproduced the figure in autographic projection this is what you are asked to do this is only giving you better understanding you don't are not asked to draw it in this way you only asked to do this so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share the video thanks for watching